Right, today I wanted to talk about making sub-UV textures for particle effects. And they can be made a few number, a few different ways actually. Uh, right now I have a 4x4, <coughs> which as you can see offers a whole bunch of different images for the particle effects to cycle through. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down we'll get started here. I'm going to open up a new 1024x1024 document. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it with black. And down here, I'm going to grab these first four images of fire here. And I'm going to load them up. And take a little look here. See what I got. I think I'm going to start out with this one here. So I'm just going to drag it over here so I can see it click back over into our untitled document. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop it into our file. Oops. There we go. <laughs> you can see right now it's really huge. So it does need to be scaled down a bit, so I'm going to hit control T. I'm just going to scale it down uniformly here. And also up here I'm going to come into view and I'm going to go to show grid. I'm also going to make sure that snap to grid is enabled. This is going to make it a lot easier to position this stuff later on. And let's see, show. Make sure guides are on as well. <coughs> so, what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to snap it to a grid size here so that it's relatively a square. So I'm going to hit apply there. And let's see which one did I use? Oh, I already closed it. So next I'm going to look at this flame set here. I'm going to bring it in the same way. Zoom out here. And actually, I'm going to turn this background layer off really quick so I can see where these are lining up at. So now I'll go back into scale here. Now I'm just going to drag it down uniformly here. And if I look, I made this four wide, so I'm going to change this and drag this one over like that. And just looking at this, I'm going to have to scale all these down more, because there's no way I'm going to be able to fit four all the way across, which isn't a big deal. We could go down to using a three by three if we really wanted to. And this one is extra large. So you can already see we got a problem. Because we need to fit one more in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the first one again. I'm just going to uniformly scale it down to 3. We'll see how this adjustment looks in a second. Not all the way to the top. There we go. So now I'm going to drag in my last one. So 
do the same thing. Roughly get it to the size that we need it here. Let's look at this now. We're off by just a little bit here. So what I'm gonna do, oops, I don't want the first one. I'm gonna come back over here, I'm gonna slide this one over here. I'm just gonna kind of adjust these up a little bit. about how much space difference we have so just move it in and that's close probably as close as we're gonna get and then later when we turn on our back black ground it'll be like this Alright, so now I need to do the same thing here. I'm going to grab four more, drag them up here. And drag them in. start with about here one snap there we go so again these are about three this is really about the same thing I'm gonna do this for all all the different pieces that I need. This one's really big too. Okay, there we go. So I'm just making sure that they're lined up with each other. Which they indeed are. Drag another one in. Oh. oh, what did we just do here? Awesome. Let's fix this again. Not entirely sure what I did there. I might have not have hit the apply button. Okay, so that one's fixed again. And let's see, so that was my third flame that was missing. So do the same exact thing. So I'm going to go and duplicate this everywhere just like this <coughs> until I get my 4x4. Four four. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little pause on the video and speed this up a little bit and we'll get to the end results here. Okay, so as you can see here, I've made some adjustments to the fire textures. I had I did have to go in and adjust the horizontal spacing here. Uh, the vertical was fine, but I did have to make some adjustments to the horizontal. <coughs> and that's just so I could get each corner to match up correctly. 
now what I'm going to do after I have all this done, just for organizational purposes, I'm going to create a new group in here. I'm going to call it Fire Textures. And I'm just going to put these guys into it. That way I can just pop them all on and off. I'm going to come up here and do File Save As. I'm going to save it as File Master. And I'm going to save that as a PSD. And I'm going to hit Yes to replace. Since I already had it saved. And this is what will pretty much do it. Uh, once we get later on into UDK, we'll go over actually hooking this up and making it work. But until then, go ahead and turn your background layer on. That way it's totally black. And then we'll come in here real quick and I'll turn off grid so you can see what it looks like. And that there will be your sub UV for particle emission. I'm going to go ahead and just do one last save. I'm going to save it as a targa, but I'm going to save it as T underscore fire. And then just hit OK. And go ahead and save it as 32 bit. And that will do it. That will conclude setting up a sub UV texture.